and welcome to Spirit Forest. I am finally back from all my travels overseas. Came back from Norway and it looks like I missed the whole summer here in Colorado. <laughs> As you see, the, the leaves, uh, you can kind of see them here, but I showed at the beginning of the video too, the leaves are changing fall is hitting us and um, I didn't get to go as backpacking as much as I wanted to but I did go on a backpacking trip and my next video I'm going to show you guys um, what we did there was um, six no six seven seven of us <laughs> there was seven of us backpacking and um, it was it was really great and then I went backpacking another time and I filmed that too so stay tuned you're gonna see some backpacking videos coming up um, I'm also back at my cabin again and I'm back home and you know there's just something about just being home you know I loved being in Norway like it was truly amazing and I think my favorite part of that was um, that Trollstein, I think is what it is, where that troll area, um, that to me was literally my most favorite drive in my life. <laughs> I absolutely just loved that. That was so much fun. You know, and while I was gone, do you want to point out that um, I was monitoring my cabin while I was gone and I do have security cameras. As you guys know, I did do a video on security cameras. Some people ask me, it's like, aren't you scared to leave your cabin, leave your house? Um, I actually um, look up my cameras while I was in Norway to see what was going on. Um, we had a couple deer come by the cabin. Um, actually, no people came by the cabin, which was really great. I'm very happy about that. Um, I had a fox and a, um, a coyote come by the cabin. It was really cool. So just really fast, I'm just going to show you because I got a brand new camera and I want to show it off because it's really, it's really cool. It's nice and fancy and stuff. It's one of those ones that kind of move. So if you're moving, the camera moves with you. So let me just show you a little bit of this, this new camera I got. Here's the camera um, on the side of the house. Again, I have multiple cameras. I really like this one. It kind of has a personality to it because it kind of follows you around. It looks like it has two eyes to it. <laughs> so we actually called it our little R2-D2. Um, it's, it's really cute. This camera is called Real Link Track Mix. It's a wide angle telephoto lens, dual view, dual tracking, 2K, Super HD, which honestly, I don't know what Super HD means, but um, it is everything that you need in a camera. Just wanted to let you know that. It is currently, I did go online right now and I checked, it is currently 20% off. And I do have a link below if you want to take a look at that. But we had a lot of fun just playing with it as we're walking around and watching the camera move as we got it all set up. And one of the things that I really like um, about this camera is Scott's running around. Um, what I really like about this camera is that um, you don't have to um, plug it into your Wi-Fi um, you could, I mean, you don't have to plug it into a hard cord, you know, so that way you can just put it direct. It's like ready to go out of the box and, and it gives you like step-by-step -step instructions of setting it up. I did have some issues trying to set up the tracker, but I ended up fig figuring it out. I ended up calling their support team. They totally helped me out and you can see now that it's, it's working just fine. But um, what I like about it, there's no monthly fee. So um, you can use it on Wi-Fi. Uh, sometimes, you know, power goes out on Wi-Fi. So you can have a cellular as well, which is another option on the camera. So if there's good cell service in the area, you can use that too and um, be able, so in case like the power goes out or something happens, it's still actually being used by the cell towers. So um, you're still able to track stuff if somebody were to turn off your power. Just wanted to, to let you know on that. Um, the wide angle lens and telephoto lens of the camera brings you a broad overview and a very close um, close up sim simultaneously. So you can kind of see I have two cameras up and down. So sometimes it will show something really, um, it will cl um, zoom in on that and then I'll have a, um, a look that is like kind of more far away. It can span 355 degrees. Um, of course, if you have it on a building, that's kind of hard, but I do have it on a corner, which is really nice. It also can tilt 90 degrees, um, which is really good too. And um, I was able to get 
um, again, we're just having kind of fun here um, with the camera, but I was able to get um, a fox on here and also a deer. Um, oh, just wanted to show you the night vision of the camera too. It does have really good night vision, but um, was able to get, no, maybe it wasn't a fox. Maybe it was a coyote that was on the camera, um, but also a really cool deer too. So anyways, lots of fun. I recommend the camera. Wanted to um, show it off to you guys as we were having fun um, setting it up and everything and, and moving around too. It's a pretty cool camera. Anyways, I do have to say that they did provide me the camera. Um, but Real Link is literally my favorite company for cameras because you don't need to pay a monthly fee. That to me is hands down my favorite security camera. <laughs> You know, so thank you, Real Link, for another camera. I really appreciate it. I think I have, and I'm not giving you guys the exact number, but I have over 10 cameras on my property. <laughs> but I'm a computer nerd. You guys know that. Like, I'm a computer nerd, and I like to check out things and see what's going on, you know, while I'm not here. And, uh, or while I'm here, actually, there's been a couple times where animals come by at night and I'm like, what's that? You know, and I get a notice on my phone, um, it, it alerts me. And, uh, also when I'm trying to, uh, try not to say this so you guys don't get upset with me, but I am hunting rats <laughs> and it tells me when there's a rat on my house. <laughs> so yeah, they're starting to eat the house, you guys. The rats are eating the house. Yeah. And so, like, I am literally trapping rats all the time. It's a daily occurrence for me. Um, and so I have actually have a couple cameras just for that. Um, and it's worked out really well, actually. So that <laughs> I probably use it more for that than anything right now. <laughs> it tells me when there's a rat near the trap or if there's a rat in the trap or whatever. I know some of you get upset with me because I trap animals. Um, but they're rats and they're eating my house. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So they eat my tent. Remember, they ate my tent when I had my tent here. So now they're trying to do that to the house. Um, daily occurrence of that. So anyways, anyways, um, life is good. Engaged life. I haven't really talked about it with you since, um, since I got engaged. Um, I haven't done like a face to face. So this is more of a vlog. Um, kind of face-to-face -face video giving you kind of updates uh, for those of you that don't know I am recently engaged um, as of this summer and uh, I was not expecting that <laughs> so so to me it was a, it was a little shocker for me but it was it's a good one you know and I like I, I always in my head I'm like if you were to ever ask me this would be my I knew what my answer was gonna be you know I knew I was gonna say yes because he is literally like a one of a kind kind of guy like he is just wonderful and uh, I'm very happy to have him in my life as well as his wonderful family too so um very good. Everything's going really well. So um, I will be giving you some updates about Madison. Um, she's no longer living with me anymore. Um, but I will give you in a future video, you will see um, where Madison's. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to give the location of where she's at, but um, she is no longer with us right now. And it's kind of sad a little bit, you know, because it's like, I when I go grocery shopping I look for her food <laughs> in fact I went out and I bought some food and for her but she doesn't live with me anymore you know but it is hard as a parent you know a mom's job is to make it so that the woman can be on their own and support themselves and you know kind of become part of society and when you find out that you're successful with that, it actually kind of hurts a little, you know, because I'm like, oh, she's gone. But um, she does call me a lot. And I think that that's really, really nice because I get to hear from her all the time, actually, more than I thought I would. It's like three times a day she's calling me, but um, I miss her too. You know, there's, there's things, but um, anyways, that's what's going on there. But I will let you guys, we'll do a future video, a little bit of that. Um, Madison kind of moving out. Um, yeah, so life's good. I mean, a lot of things are changing um, at our house right now, you know. Um, I'm trying to 
trying to finish some projects in the in the cabin and if you guys are interested i'll kind of show you some of the stuff maybe i could just do it later in this video um we ended up putting up a bunch more baseboards and um shelving and stuff like that so we're slowly i mean it's got to be the slowest move in <laughs> for any house um but we're slowly moving in and slowly making uh, dents on some of the things that we need to do. We still have not built me a door in my bedroom, but most of the time when I'm here, it's just Scott and I. And why do we need a door? We have a front door. <laughs> you know, so, but you know, when the kids come up, um, you know, it's probably nice that we have a door in our bedroom. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, yeah. So let's see what else is going on. Um, just trying to adjust to being back home and stuff, you know, and uh, being back back home in Colorado. And uh, I want to get out and hike more. And um, I want to backpack one more time this um, this year. And I better do it soon because the snow is already flying, you guys. Like, look at me. I'm already, I'm in my puffy jacket. I got another jacket. <laughs> I got a shirt on. It's cold. It's cold here. And uh, I really want to be able to camp before it gets um, too cold. So who knows? Maybe maybe in the next couple weeks you'll see a backpacking video from me um, outside um, in the fall. Um, you are going to see some videos coming up. I did get to go backpacking a couple more times and I did video that for you. So those videos, again, are coming. So I just wanted to do this video to kind of check in with you guys and and uh, just chat with you face to face so you can see how I'm doing, you know. Um, sometimes when I do the voiceovers, it's not very personal and I think that I like talking to you on the camera and uh, I wanted to do that and just check in. Um, life is good. It is really, really good. So thank you always for watching and uh, let's get back in the cabin and get warm. Just you and I oh.